guys, so today I thought I would just do an uh, extra little video to talk about a, another sunscreen which I've been trying out. Haven't tried it for, for the full 30 days, uh, but I want to kind of do a little bit of a rave about it. Uh, but really quick, I have a question. Have any of you guys done these baby foot peels? I usually do one every spring. That's about it. Uh, I recently found them on sale. I think it was on GMA Deals. Dot com where they were like ridiculously cheap so I picked up a couple boxes of it so I used them last night and I've been a little bit busy like yesterday I cleaned like the whole house and I also helped clean my dad's house which vacuum all that so I was a little tired by the end of the day but after my shower I decided I would put them on and use them and you're supposed to leave them on for about up to an hour and it's never happened before but I fell asleep with them on that was last night. I slept with them on for about six hours. My feet have not fallen off yet, but I'm a little bit freaked out that they might. So anyway, interesting question if any of that's happened to any of you guys and if you still have your feet. So anyway, I guess I should really get some good exfoliation out of that one. Um, okay, so I've got a few uh, K-Beauty sunscreens. This was one that I think I got in a beauty box. I think it was Bomi box. And I scanned, the ingredient list is printed all over the sides of the bottle, which is actually really nice. And as I was scanning, I saw uh, Behenyl alcohol, then Arachidil alcohol, which the, that uh, Arachidil alcohol is a uh, aromatic type of alcohol, so probably not the best one for your skin. And then uh, scanning a little bit further, I saw lavender oil, and I kind of just set it on the back burner in one of my drawers and didn't touch it again for a very long time. Thankfully, it's not expired yet. I still have about a year and a half. So I finally started using this over the last couple days, and I am so annoyed that I totally misjudged this just based on that because the scent is light and it dissipates rather quickly, thankfully. Obviously, I'm still not excited to see those ingredients in there, but I'm just super happy that I tried it because the scent dissipates pretty quickly and it really wears nicely. I'm using it, uh, I probably had had it on now for about nine hours and it holds up pretty good. I mean, I have a little bit of shine, but you know what? I've been sweating a lot because in Minnesota, it's in between like uh, winter and summer. It's that weird time. So it's like too early to turn the air conditioner on, but I'm still really hot and humid because it's like in the seventies today. So anyway, it's always an interesting time. It's like you're hot, but not hot enough, but you're still sweating. And then if you're doing anything else, you're sweating a little bit more. So it makes it even more impressive how this held up. And the fact that I can reapply this mostly, uh, okay over foundation was pretty impressive as well and it really has no white cast so I'll just do uh, this will be a third layer so keep that one in mind but um, anyway so it's got a really nice uh, lotion thicker lotion texture and it smooths over like anything you're wearing pretty nicely and it really doesn't affect it so as you can see on one half I just reapplied it and the other half I didn't and uh, to be honest, it really didn't make too much of a dif difference. Um, so it really can apply over foundation without really ruining it. Uh, some of the pigmentation of the foundation does fade a touch, but it doesn't end up looking flaky or goopy or pilling or end up with like spots where you have foundation on spots where you don't. So what I've been doing is reapplying that when I want to and then just using a quick setting powder instead of applying foundation or anything else over it. And it seems to do the trick. So um, anyway, so this has some good ingredients in it. Uh, it's got uh, Centella Asiatica, it's got Squalane, Hojava seed oil, vitamin E, uh, turmeric, sunflower seed oil, uh, let's see what else, xylitol, uh, sodium hyaluronate. So it does not, it does have a couple bummer ingredients in it, but overall, it's a pretty good sunscreen. I really like the fact that you can reapply it without having to worry about it because that's a big deal with sunscreens. If you're out a lot, reapplying is key, especially after you've been out for more than a couple hours. You really need to be focusing on reapplying it. And the aesthetic uh, problem with that is usually why people don't reapply it as often as they should. 
But this one did a good job with that. And I'm happy with the finish. It's not sticky. It works well with other products. So I'm bummed about the fragrance ingredients and a little bit of alcohol. But overall, for me, I found this to be a pretty, pretty good winner. So anyway, I thought I'd do kind of a video review since I haven't given it the full 30 days. But I have played with it a lot. And I'm pretty happy with it. So... Um, anyway, I was digging for this one for quite some time. The uh, Innisfree Blueberry Sunscreen, which uh, compared to the, I'm sorry for my skin, it just can't quite stand up. But anyway, so the Apu Pore Block, which if you saw my review of the Apu in the orange bottle, this one is so much better in my opinion. And the fragrance is so uh, much less and de degrades very fast. So anyway... Um, that one and Nature Republic kind of playing with some of these so well this one I've tested so I need like a full another month to do all sunscreen reviews but I think I'll just start kind of trickling them in after the end of the week goes but be sure to catch the live stream on uh, May 2nd at 2 o'clock we're going to talk about everything sunscreens and whatever else questions you guys have so anyway stay tuned for that and I will see you more tomorrow thank you bye